Hello everyone and welcome back to the Goomba Girls YouTube channel. Today we're going to go ahead and cover how to transfer your monotub into fruiting conditions once it's been fully colonized like you can see here. Now this took us about six days to get to this point in the colonization period where we have almost full coverage of mycelium on the top surface of the substrate. So we are now going to begin to prep our monotub for fruiting conditions. I'm going to go ahead and cover it with this lid that I have. I went ahead and ISO'd the top of the lid so there was no contaminants on there. And then we're going to take the top of the lid. As you can see here, it is pretty filled with water. We're going to dump it out just so that there's not a heavy concentration of water falling onto the mycelium when we put the lid back on. So we're just going to go ahead and grab a clean paper towel that I also sprayed a little bit of ISO on to make sure it has no contaminants and we are going to completely dry out the lid. Some might say that this is an unnecessary step, but I truly do not want big puddles of water on the surface of my mycelium. That is a great way to introduce bacteria to your grow. And once you have the lid relatively dry, we're gonna take some ISO and we're gonna spray it down completely. Let it sit for a moment and give it a wipe. Make sure we can clean it as good as possible so there's no contaminants hidden in there anywhere. And once you have the bin lid fully sanitized, we're gonna go ahead and transfer it onto the bin base. Now with this step, we are going to want to be as quick as we can. Since we're doing this in an open air environment with no flow hood, there are floating air contaminants and we do not want them getting onto our mycelium and contaminating it. So we're gonna quickly put it on here and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Now for this next step, we're gonna to wanna to grab our max yield bin filter patches, as well as our micropore tape, as we're going to be switching out all of the painter's tape on the max yield bin for micropore tape. Now we are doing this to introduce fresh air into the bin. So when we are colonizing our bin, we want to have the painter's tape on there to seal the holes and build up carbon dioxide. But now that we're switching it into fruiting conditions, we're gonna need that fresh air exchange. So with that being said, you really don't want to try and deviate away from the micropore tape as any other tape is going to just cut off the airflow far too much. And now that we have the lid finished, we are going to go ahead and move down to the base where we are going to switch out the bottom holes painter tape for micropore tape. Okay, once you guys have the bottom holes completely covered with micropore tape, we're gonna move on to the second to final step, which is using our mister slash aerosol bottle to put a fine layer of mist on the surface of our mycelium, as well as put a fine layer of mist around the side walls and the lid. That's just to basically build up the humidity in, um, in the bin. Now once you have finished misting, we're going to go ahead and put the lid on and move to the last step. Now I also have to say that this step is optional and what I do is, is I put it under a light for 8 to 12 hours a day. 
uh, no misting, no fanning necessary. And besides that, you guys are good to go. So have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.